Peace and blessings and hold our love. God is hot, dear. I'm a little exhausted today. But I will still want to get this video out talking about um, energy vampires. However, I did a video on it before, but here's some more information that may be beneficial to you. An energy vampire is someone who cannot sustain their own energy or life force, so they feed off others who are at a higher energetic level. They are unhappy and struggle to find a joy within, so they seek it outside of themselves. Here are some examples of energy vampires. The victim feels the world is against them. They constantly moaning or sobbing, trying to feed off other people's attention. The blamer, always blaming others and not taking responsibility for their own actions. They put the onus on someone else. They hand out guilt, dumping all their crap onto others and dampening down their energy. The drama queen, looking for attention, acting up, everything is enhanced to an enormous scale of negative energy, thus stealing the energy of others. The charmer, who, are, who is the joker, talker, wanting to be the center of attention, one other people's energy directed to them. The green arm monster, who is jealous, wanting what other people have, not happy with what they got, trying to take what's not theirs. The guilt tripper, using shame to get what they want from other people. The gossiper, not happy with their own life, so looking for drama in other people's lives. The insecure, who pull others down to their level of low self-esteem. And then you have the paranoid android, who is a highly anxious and fearful, Chaotic energy surrounds them, causing imbalances in those around them. Then she goes on to write, Signs you've been in contact with, contact and attacked by an energy vampire. You are exhausted, tired, even after a phone conversation. You're weak and sick. You're unfocused, depressed, and headache has developed. Lack of motivation. You notice the slimy feeling when you're in their presence. You feel fearful, unworthy, or unhappy. The chest tightens when you meet them. Now I'm going to talk about read some 10 tips to protect yourself from energy vampires. Number one, you, all, you will encounter energy vampires, so awareness is vital. Look out for the signs that I stated above. Take a deep breath, center yourself, and stand your ground. Do not allow them to bring you down to their level. Set boundaries by saying no. You have the choice to walk away and not deal with them. Do not react. Stay neutral. They will get bored and go feed off someone else. Cut the cords of attachment. If, and that's another video I think I did. If you think someone is draining you, imagine there's a cord attached them to you and cut through it with an imaginary axe. One swift chop. Done. Detached. Use light if you left a particular yucky situation. Imagine you are standing under a shower of silver light to cleanse and wash away any sicknesses. You can also shield, protect yourself with white light. Imagine yourself surrounded by white light and set the intentions that your energy stays with you. Some people like to use pink light, blue light. You can imagine the light of your favorite color. Number seven, ask Archangel Michael to help. He's really great for cleansing negative energy and shielding you from energy attacks. He surrounds you with his beautiful, beautiful blue light. Number eight, wear crystal pendants or jewelry to act as a buffer in a hard situation. Like I like to wear rose quartz. I wear tourmaline. I don't know. I wear a whole bunch of different types of crystals in amulet. Also consider what do you have learned what have you learned from the situation um if you are attracting jealous and competitive people chances are those are attracted to you because you are acting the same way if you work through your issues these people will get bored and move on to feed or someone that's why they say we attract who we are not what we want so you have to be mindful of your own behaviors and number 10 the best thing to do is surround yourself with happy positive people and be happy and positive yourself and go on and take a moment and consider if there is anyone in your life that may be draining you i hope that some of these tips that i have listed above or if you can not read this that i have listed in this video and helping you protect your precious energy that you try to use and apply them to your daily life peace and blessings god is hot to you